from Colorado's news leader. This is Nine News. That's another Where in the Town Friday, and today Greg is all about panini salad, sub soups, and bread. bread. <laughs> Boy, that's some bread, isn't it? We've Greg, got serious bread here. How you doing? Did you like that bread? I love it. That was made fresh this morning at about 4 a.m. that came out of the oven. So enjoy. Perfect. It's making <laughs> hey, a nice we, mess of the desk. We love it. I, I know. You should see the back of my car. We are at the Spicy Pickle on Broadway. This, this is a company that started in 1999. One location in downtown Denver. It has since grown to multiple locations, not only here in Colorado, but across the country as well. And, and that first location, no air conditioning or heat. They've done quite well. This is my friend Chris. He, uh, he was showing me how to do this, Chris. I don't know. Chris, if I cut my finger off, do you have insurance? Uh, yes, we do. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave this to the professionals. We're going to take a look at some business news and talk to the co-founder here of Spicy Pickle in a second. Uh, we're talking about some good news and bad news in the housing market. All right. Once again, we're in the town. It's Greg Moss. And this Friday, we are at the Spicy Pickle. This is a uh, kind of their central location now where they also do uh, their central baking. And I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Tony Walker, who is the co-founder of Spicy Pickle. Good to see Thanks. you, my friend. Thanks, Thanks for, for letting out. us in. Appreciate so it. how did you and your partner get this idea, first of all? Well, it started with the uh, cocktail napkin at uh, Don's mixed drinks. This is not the napkin, but Don's mixed drinks does serve these napkins as well. Exactly. You, could, what, you couldn't find a sandwich you liked? Well, we were just sitting around the bar and we just thought, you know, what do we want to do? And we came up with the spicy pickle and the name there as well, too. <laughs> Everything. And the rest is history, as it they is. say. All right, we're looking around here, Dennis. This is a catering job that you guys have a little bit later on. So you do catering as we well? Do, as we do. We do catering. This is uh, one of the uh, types of catering that we do. This is a uh, kind of a kit and caboodle where you have different sandwiches. Uh, they're all labeled right there. You can also get a salad with it. Um, it's kind of, like I said, a kit and caboodle, and then we have also some choices as a box lunch. Do you guys really have 150,000 combinations of sandwiches? I think it might even be a little bit higher, but yeah, 155,000 combinations. You have no life? You just, you and your partner sit around and think these things up? That's it. Again, uh, Don's Mixed Drinks, just trying to figure out what we can do next. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a big plug for Don's Mixed Drinks. Yeah, it is. How many locations do you all have now? Is it three? We have uh, 36 uh, locations right now, and we have uh, 120, well, we have about 40 more that are in the pipeline for this year. That's huge yeah. growth, especially you've, you've heard the headlines. I mean, yeah. the economy is starting to slow down. Are you concerned about that at all? Uh, you know, you have to be concerned about it and stuff like that, but the customers still need to eat, and uh, they still have business meetings and stuff like that, so we just want to take care of them. All right. This is the pickle, which you are it known is. for. Now, this, I understand, is a, a very secret recipe, the spices that go on top. It is. It's, uh, gosh, it's 13 uh, different spices in there. You wow. can see some of them on there. Uh, I'll tell you some of them. They're paprika, white peppercorn, some bay leaf, and then a bunch of other things in there as well. Right. So the name, Spicy Pickle. That's this, it. this is the pickle you're known for. That's I'm going to have pickle. a little bite here. Okay, be careful. Mm -hmm. It is a pickle. It's good. It's crisp. It's spicy. It is spicy. It's going to give you a kick here in a minute. Oh, it's already kicking in, my friend. If you want some more information about Spicy Pickle, go to our website at 9news.com, click on that Mornings button, and look for the Where in the Town section. Gary and Susie, coming up next half hour, we're going to head back to the bakery. We're going to bake some of that bread that you guys have got there uh, in the studio. Delicious. Right. How's your mouth feeling? I've had Ooh. those pickles before. You know, they're good. They really are oh, good. Oh, they're great. You're going to take back that do you have no life Ooh. comment now, now that he gave you that spicy pickle, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. you got a life, buddy. I'm going to get some water. But you do know where the name comes from after you eat one of those. They're Absolutely great. you do. Oh, All right. Man. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, All right. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> All right, it is a Where in the Town Friday for this adventure today. Greg Moss took the Rambler Whoa. to check out a Denver-based uh, fast casual success story with a very funny name. We have the Spicy Pickle. Greg, we have uh, our bread here. You know, you left us some wheat bread with the oatmeal on top, and now it's getting all over everything. It is oh, everywhere. But it's well but worth it's it. it's so good. It's so well worth good. it, i got to yeah. tell you. It's very good. We are actually in the baking headquarters of the Spicy Pickle. You guys enjoy that. Break some bread on me, will you, please? Yeah. Break some okay, bread for you. Got it. it. Because as you mentioned right. earlier, uh, Susie, we're, we're packing a panini today. And, and if the start of any good sandwich, of course, is the bread. This is the foundation of the spicy pickle. And uh, because of quality issues, they want to make sure that all of their restaurants, which they have uh, 36 right now, and they're hoping to do a whole lot more, they want to make sure they're all serving good bread. We're going to talk more about the history of this company and what they do back here and show you how they make this fine uh, product in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at business news. All right, once again, we're in the town as Greg Moss on this Friday. We are at the Spicy Pickle that started back in 1999. One restaurant in downtown Denver, no heat, no air conditioning, and now look at them. 
<laughs> Let me introduce you to some of my friends back here in the bakery. This is Rob Fisher. Rob, good to see you. You Hi, handle Greg. all the training for the uh, franchisees that are coming in, right? I do. I do. Any uh, any people that are coming in from out of state or in state? I and there's. I was here the other day. There's a lot of people interested in opening up one of your locations. Yeah, we just finished training a group from San Diego that's going to be opening ten stores out there. That's amazing, especially in this economy. We were talking to one of the co-founders earlier. You guys are moving pretty fast. Yeah, and it's our attention to uh, providing great food and great customer service that I think keeps us going. All right, step back out of the way just real quickly. This way, Ed, if you don't mind, let me have Dennis take a look at Jeff. Jeff is making the bread. Now, the reason why you guys opened up your own commercial bakery is to for quality control, right? Right, right. We uh, at Spice Pickle we really pride ourselves in great food and great customer service, and bread is, like you said, the foundation of any sandwich. And by able by being able to control our production we can maintain our high standards of quality and consistency system-wide all right let me introduce you to jeff jeff panetta is the head baker here how are you doing buddy i don't want to stop the process you're doing really well how, what time do you guys start baking bread we start baking about 8 30 at night 8 30 at night so you go all night long all night long sir okay, two different kinds of breads secret recipes <laughs> secret okay, recipes. are we, we going to pull some out of the oven yeah we're getting ready to pull some out now, let's right pull now. some out right now and well you and i will talk just okay. briefly here as we're doing that so how many loaves are you baking per day right now we're baking just a little over 600 loaves a day that's um, a lot of bread well, that's a lot of bread <laughs> what's the secret to good bread like this um all right a, a lot of love <laughs> <laughs> that's what we got. we got a lot of love here i tell you jeff's full of love now th you just took some out of the oven here yes sir all yep right. that's some fresh ciabatta that'll Boy. be going for our store right up here i wish we had smell vision because it smells <laughs> awesome and you're also doing cookies back we're here also too we're doing cookies jose luis is scooping cookies right now <laughs> oh we're gonna have a cookie or two i think uh gary and Susie coming Ooh, that's warm coming up next half hour we're going to talk more with one of the co-founders about how they got started and the secret to success here at the spicy pickle and really for any entrepreneur who has a dream because as i told you last time you know they, this was on a bar napkin their whole business plan started like that so more on that coming up next half hour of course you can go to our website and find more on all our wear in the towns spicy pickle mornings page nine news.com quick break and we'll be right back stay with us and uh, check out what we have for Greg Moss. He's out wearing the town this morning. He took the Rambler for a visit to a place known for its spicy pickles and much, much more. Um, oh, we're packing some more paninis, and, and, and you're going to bring back some bread and cookies, right, I hope? Yeah, I'm going to bring back a little bit of everything. I Good. promise there, Susie. Yeah, we're, we're, pack, we're packing some paninis as Spicy Pickle, a, a Denver restaurant success story, once again, started very small. We're going to talk more about that a bit later, but now they've got locations all over the state of Colorado and the country, too. This is Lisa Brown. She's the uh, chief panini today. Yes, the <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Panini, thank so what's you. the secret here of making these sandwiches? You know, the secret is just to make sure that you get a little bit of everything in every bite of the sandwich. Absolutely. So I'm making a gobbler today with um, Sausalito turkey, artichoke hearts, feta okay. cheese. Now we should point out that, that you have 150,000 combinations. We and, do. And what I've been told, because you are the star employee, you have memorized every one of those. I have. We're going to go through those it's right amazing. now. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm just kidding, like Lisa. <laughs> so you put that, and then of course you got to grill the panini. So you put it up in the panini grill. You got it and we got one up there right now we are, we're gr mm. grilling our italian really actually so yeah th what makes these sandwiches unique well you know we have some really unique ingredients you do you for example the, the gobbler we have feta cheese artichoke hearts you don't often find roasted portobello mushrooms you that don't. we roast in house roasted red peppers you don't so, often find someone either celebrating their birthday today this early in the morning putting together a thank you greg happy I birthday that. lisa brown <laughs> and she's accepting resumes is what she says <laughs> oh yes i am Car very good thank you lisa <laughs> Thanks, we're gonna uh, walk our way over here and uh, give you some business headlines and talk to the co-founder of spicy pickle here in just a minute uh, but first let's do take a look at that business news and all right it's Friday. We're in the town. It's Greg Moss. We're down on Broadway at the uh, Spicy Pickle. And this is one of their locations that they have opened up uh, not too long ago. Tony Walker is the uh, co-founder. Good to see you again, Good my friend. Again. We've got quite the spread out here. We do. Did you ever think that you would be at this stage of your career in this business? Uh, definitely not. I didn't think we'd be franchising or anything like that. I thought we'd stay local, but uh, I'm excited that we are, and we've got some great franchisees. You guys are looking to double the number of stores that you've got through franchising this year alone, right? Yes, we're uh, pretty ambitious about it, and we're uh, looking to get to about 70 to 80 stores. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and the, what is more amazing, I think, is how you came up with this idea. <laughs> yeah, we was at Don's Mixed Drinks and uh, just sitting around at the bar writing some notes down and came up with the idea. Then a few weeks later, we came back to 
to uh, figure out the name. But it, that sounds very easy, but there is there, there's a lot of sweat and tears that goes. There's into a this. ton that goes into it, but you got to have fun and uh, you got to get the right staff on board. Well, we met Lisa. She seems to be uh, she's having fun. She is. Chris Bue is another addition that we've had for almost seven years, and he's done a great job as well. That's awesome. Now you're known for the spicy pickles. This is it right here. It is. It's a uh, I wouldn't say family recipe, but definitely a secret recipe. There's uh, about 13 to 15 different uh, ingredients in there. A couple of them are bay leaves, peppercorns, you know, chili flakes. And the history of, of pickles, we were talking about that earlier. You know um, a lot about that. We do. I, I couldn't label or list them all off, but uh, there's a fun facts for you. All right, very good. You can go to their website, and we'll link to that. Congratulations on Thanks your success. Uh, another Denver success story in the restaurant business, and we wish you all the best. If you want some more information about Spicy Pickle, go to our website at 9news.com. Click on that morning's page, and you'll see the Where in the Town icon. We are going to take a quick break. We've got lots more weather and, of course, traffic, the big story of the day. Stay with us. We will be right back.